All right, moving forward, I'm going to demonstrate how to install additional tools. Basically, what we're doing here is we're getting ready for Hibernate environment, right? So we're all we're doing is just prepping up the Hibernate environment. So we install the database SQL tools. Although we have not configured the DB yet, we will do that. But in this lesson, I'm just going to go ahead and simply show you how to install Hibernate tools, like using JBoss tools, for example. So let's go ahead and open up Clips Marketplace where we can search for these available tools. So let's click on Help here, Eclipse Marketplace. We'll bring up a window, pretty straightforward process, right? So nothing to it. We just need to know where to go and how to find these, right? All right, so I'm simply going to type, let's say, Hibernate, and then go ahead and search for it. Now notice you're not gonna find anything specific to Hibernate itself you will have to install the tools, right? So we're not looking for hyper objects. We're not interested in the Hibernate search plugin at this point. Let me scroll down. What we're looking for is this, the JBoss tools 4.3.1 final. And within this tools, you'll see that you'll be able to install Maven. Well, it's already installed for us. Previously, Hibernate is the one of the options, right? So in order to install Hibernate, simply install the JBoss tool. So I'm going to go ahead and click on install. And of course, this is going to fetch all the features and the sub modules and libraries as well for us to install. So here's a pretty exhaustive list of JBoss tools, which is kind of nice because eventually when you get into Docker, it has this option of Docker tooling, for example. And let me scroll down. And you'll notice there's several of them, right? So Maven integration for Eclipse, examples, the Java standard, and whatnot. So it's up to you. If you wish to install all of them, that's fine. If not, you can select based on your own requirement. So I'm going to go ahead and leave all of them because I don't have it installed yet. So I'm going to go ahead and click Confirm. This is going to go ahead and, of course, provision the operation and eventually start the software installation. Simply go ahead and accept the license agreement and click finish. And the installation is now going to start. Now while the software is being installed, right, while these tools are being installed, which includes the Hibernate tools, so I'm going to go ahead and navigate to a website just so that you can actually see where these tools are and how we can download them manually as well. So let me go ahead and open up my browser here and all you have to do just go to hibernate.org forward slash tools right and you will get to this page so right under the tools menu you will notice we have the hibernate tools which is makes it easy and developers simply enjoy using these apis and the query language right and here's what i'm looking for just so you know hibernate tools is a tool set for hibernate implemented as an integrated suite of eclipse plugins together with a unified at task for integration into the build cycle and these tools is a core component of the jboss tools and that's exactly what we're installing at this point so if i were to click on jboss tools for example so you can see the current version which is about 4.4.4, .4 I believe, because they just updated it, um, which will actually show you the actual current version. All right, so here it is. You can download the JBoss tools and install it. If I scroll down, it shows you the latest posts and news and so on. So if I click on the download, this will take me to the download page. And here it is, right? So JBoss tools 4.4.4 final and it is a stable build. I can download it and then of course install it within my Eclipse IDE. So let's navigate it back to our Eclipse. It is still being installed at about 50%. And Once it's installed all I have to do is just restart the Eclipse editor. By the way another word of caution let me navigate back to the marketplace here and then the, the JBoss Tools 4.4.4 .4 is for Neon only, okay? So I missed this in the first part. I want to make sure that you get this. I'm using Eclipse Mars, not Neon. So if you were to use 
these tools and download them this is only for Eclipse Neon so if I click on download for instance notice this takes me to the page where I can in fact now download this for Neon 4.6.3 and I can simply drag and drop into the Neon IDE so if you're using Mars then we're just installing it just like I'm showing you now go to the Eclipse marketplace and then download it so I just want to clarify just so that you understand that this is the neon version of the JBoss tools so let's go back to our Eclipse there we go so it's still installing because we had a long list of software so it's going to take a while but once it's installed we'll simply restart and we're good to go with hibernate tools and I just remembered another thing right um, all right so let's go back to the page here where the downloads page is and notice if I click on all downloads it brings me with various options right so here are the Eclipse versions and notice we're using I'm using Eclipse Mars so if you're using Eclipse Mars then you need to download the JBoss tools 4.3.1 so here we go perfect so this matches our download that we're currently doing from the Eclipse marketplace because we're using Mars if you're using neon then you have the 4.4.4 .4 if you're using Luna version of Mars or Eclipse then you need to download the 4.2.3 so this is where you need to be and make sure whichever version of Eclipse you're using you can download the respective JBoss tools perfect so now everything is clarified right perfect let's go back to our Eclipse all right finally the software is installed the tools are installed all we need to do is simply restart the Eclipse IDE so let me go ahead and click on yes all right great so once we're back hopefully our JBoss tools are installed but how do we verify it right um, before we verify it prompts with a simple message will you allow these tools team to receive anonymous usage statistics for this Eclipse instance of course we're developers right so we want to help so I'm going to go ahead and click yes which is great and it brings up the Red Hat Central dashboard for us great all right so let me go ahead and navigate to our window menu here and within perspective I'm going to go ahead and open in perspective click on other and then notice there's a little slight change right now we have our hibernate perspective okay so this is exactly what you need to get into hibernate and eventually start your hibernate development so if I were to select hibernate click OK it's going to open up the hibernate perspective for me which is right here of course I can click on the database development perspective or the Java and it will take me back to those perspectives so once I'm in the hibernate perspective notice I can take a look at the error log I'm going to close this and then check the queries the dynamic SQL preview and the console as I start to work with my hibernate environment and just as a, a quick tip whenever you open Eclipse IDE go ahead and check for update software right so click on help and check for updates that's a good way because if there are any updates it's going to contact all of the software sites and update all the tools for you okay so good idea good practice so in this lesson an important lesson I wanted to show you how to install the tools the hibernate tools or JBoss tools so that we can get our hibernate environment so from here for example I can navigate to the hibernate configurations or the package explorer and then take a look at my entire environment on the right side I have my query parameters and the outline as I begin to work within the environment in this lesson just wanted to show you how to install hibernate Hope this helps. Practice and let's move to the next lesson.